everyone good morning and welcome back to another vlog so today is may 10th and i'm super excited to take you guys along on this journey with me because i am going on my first solo trip today guys i am leaving it is currently 4 30 in the morning um and i'm getting ready to go to washington dc to get to the airport um to go to costa rica so i will be in costa rica for six days five nights and I'll be staying in two different Airbnbs. One is in La Fortuna and then one is in San Jose. And then I'll also be taking a day trip to Manuel Antonio, which is where the national park is, the beach area, whatever. <sighs> Out of breath. <laughs> but I'm super excited to bring you guys along with me. My flight is at 6.50, so I'm gonna leave now because I need to get there. Um, I do have clear, so I mean, I'm, I should be okay. But I wanna get to the airport early, check my bags and everything like that. But yeah, so super excited for this video. Haven't vlogged in a little while, but we're back. We're back better than ever. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you're new here. If you're not new, welcome back. And let's get into this vlog. So I'll see you guys when I get to the airport. Bye. Ariel, right? Ariel? Ariel. Ariel. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> and I am on my way to La Fortuna. Uh, what time are we gonna get there? Probably like 3 o'clock, 2.30, probably. Um, but yeah, it's hot, really hot, but I'm about to eat my Lunchable because I'm hungry. And I'll probably vlog when I get to the hotel and show you guys around and then probably get some real, real lunch then. And yeah, just chill. Okay guys, so I made it to the hotel as you saw. I just checked in and I'm on my way to my room now. They gave me this cute little drink with, you said pineapple, orange, and passion fruit. And then a star fruit on it as well. So, um, so we're going to my room now. I'm gonna put my stuff down and then go back to the restaurant at three to eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're neighbors. Yeah, you were gonna stay here too. I know. We're neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm here now, guys. This place is so cute. It's so small. First of all, like I, I like that. Like I'm not complaining. It's literally just the bed. You have the TV area. They also left me some chocolate that's literally crafted here, and some fruit and water. And then out here is like the little um little pathways to go up to the pools that way and the best part i have a balcony look at that i can just look out here it's nobody behind me which is perfect and then the bathroom guys look at my shower i have an outdoor shower and i think that's just so cool it also has a lock so you know nobody can get in here um really really nice so i'm about to unpack and see look at this oh yeah definitely Definitely gotta take a shower, unpack, and chill until time to eat um, lunch. I'll have the Airbnb link in the description box as well so you guys can check this out. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, that's so I'm at the restaurant now. I just ordered my food and it came. I got some sea bass with mashed potatoes here, shrimp beans, and this is like a pineapple rum sauce and some tomatoes. And those are pumpkin seeds. I'm about to eat this and then I'm to go back to the room and um, shower, unpack everything, and then I might go to the pool, go to the town for a little bit, and that'll be my day. So I will see you guys when I finish eating. So I'm back in the room now. My food was so good. <clears throat> mm. 
My food was so good, and then I had some cheesecake afterwards, which was so, so good. I had like a strawberry coulis on it, which was delicious. So I'm back in the room now. Y'all see I'm about to take me a shower. I probably didn't spill all types of stuff. I got cheesecake all in my freaking necklace. Like, I don't know what's going on, but I'm about to take a shower and kind of unpack a few things here and make it feel more like home. Um, my phone is charging because I was on FaceTime for a while, so it was kind of running out of battery. But I just want to check in with you guys. I think I'm going to go over to the town once I shower. I might shower and take like a little nap. I don't think I'm going to go to the pool today. Um, so yeah, I'll probably shower, take a little nap, and then go over there. Probably when I'm like 5.30, maybe 6. And then just chill. See where the night takes me. So I will see you guys probably later. Whatever I'm doing next. Probably not my shower or anything like that. But probably a lot later. Hey guys, so it's later on in the day. Current time, 7.01. I literally just woke up, so that's probably why I look crazy. But I had the best nap, y'all. Like, the best nap. I really needed it. I was super tired. I've been up since like 4 a.m. And it felt really good to stretch out and just be able to sleep quiet peace. Love it. Um, and so now, by the way, like I said, it's 7 p.m. and it's literally pitch black out. Back home, it doesn't get dark till like 8.30 now because of daylight savings. But I don't think they have that here. Um, but anyway, so... I'm getting ready to go to do this little frog sanctuary thing. I don't really know what it is, but basically at seven o'clock every night they do this little tour. You can see a bunch of frogs and stuff. I don't know. I was just over there just now and I had on my sandals, but the lady was like, you should put on some sneakers. So I just came back, put my sneakers on and I'm about to go because I'm late and I don't want to hold people up, but um, I'm not going to the town tonight. I figured today I'll just chill here. Probably once I finish there, I may sit by the pool, put my feet in the pool, whatever, in the jacuzzi. And I don't need to eat. I'm not really hungry. I have like snacks and stuff here if I do get hungry. But I think I should be good until breakfast time, which is at 6.30. Um, I'm going to be leaving out of here at 7 in the morning. So I can eat at 6.30. I'll be good. And I get my other meals tomorrow. So I'm going to take you guys along with me. My camera might fog up because it's really humid here. Um, so if I can't really vlog that well, if the quality is trash, sorry about that. But I'm about to go. Normally, uh, no, that's uh, normally when I find more uh, frogs than another kind of animals in this area. Okay, but we're gonna get into the uh, into the park. Pay attention around you. Oh my God, the wait is so long, so long. Mm mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm mm. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Very close to the this direction. Wait, where is the phone? <laughs> okay. It looked like that. I was like, There's the one up there, too. Oh, that okay. one's close. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you knew that one better. Yeah, wow. Wow. Prepare your phones and you can take many pictures. Hello, oh, Sally. They found the snake again. Yeah. You can close, no worries. Oh, I'm not going to touch this. Wow, that's not going to be sick. I'm going to... Here. This is its body. He's really tiny. Okay, so we're still out here looking at these frogs and creatures, snakes, whatever else. And now, apparently we're going to see some poisonous snakes. I mean, poisonous frogs. So that'll be interesting, but I'm itching now. I feel like I need to take another shower, so... Once we're done here, I'll probably go back and take a shower and then do my skincare. Probably just chill, watch YouTube, whatever. Go to sleep and get ready for tomorrow. So, we'll, we shall see. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> morning it is wednesday current time is 609 but it feels later because i'm still on <laughs> east coast time um, i'm getting ready to pack my stuff right now for my excursion today is the hike excursion it's gonna be a very long day y'all probably gonna hear me complain just kidding i'll try not to but i know i'm gonna be tired because it's 14 hours um excursion so um right now i'm just packing my stuff up i have like my drone a few other things that i need to take with me um just because you know i don't want to be out there and something happened and i need like my chargers or whatever so i got my portable charger and then i'm bringing my umbrella just in case it rains um what else 
umbrella bug spray for sure need this because last night i don't know it, they were everywhere need my water shoes bring some extra socks just in case it rains and then get some like muddy and stuff so i'm about to pack up now and then uh i'm gonna go get breakfast breakfast starts at 6 30 which is perfect i have to be over there to the excursion by 7 25 so i'll eat at like 6 30 probably be done around like 7 and then catch an uber to um to downtown La Fortuna. so yeah look at this view this morning so pretty like oh my gosh look and just listen hold on Like that is amazing and then it's all foggy here from the shower i had the water running but yeah wow all right y'all so i'm about to um get myself ready and then i will see you guys later so i made it to the breakfast spot now i'm just getting a traditional costa rican breakfast it comes with um, gallo pinto, which is like rice and beans, eggs, sweet plantain, avocado, cheese, sour cream, and tortillas. I'm not going to eat all of that today, but um, they're making it now. And then, I don't know, I'm probably going to take an Uber over there, but if it doesn't work, I just have to take a cab because sometimes the Ubers are unreliable here. Um, so yeah, but they have uh, quite a bit on, on their breakfast menu. So I'm excited for tomorrow to try, tomorrow on Friday to try two more two different things. I'm definitely not getting pancakes or anything like that. But I want to try the Benedicto Tropical. Tropical? I don't know. It looks good. They have a Monte Cristo sandwich. So, we shall see. This looks really good. Thank you. <laughs> no, I'm good with that. So thank you. The taxi now with Johnny <laughs> and we're going he's taking me to the downtown there's the volcano guys can't really see it that well but you can see it a lot better later so okay so I made it to where we're starting the tour it's in the town a little bit you guys can see the town here super super cute um, we're just waiting for the other guy to get here so um, that'll be fun. I'm super excited. There's a couple other people I'm going with on this tour. It's going to be a long day, so we shall see. But, um, yeah, I need to get some water because I don't have any water with me. She said they have water, though, so I should be coming. All right, guys, so we made it to our first stop of the day. We are at the Arenal Hanging Bridges Park. You can see... I didn't know about Kato here. Um, I'm about to take like some content right here. And then I was gonna fly, fly my drone, but I don't think I'm going to because we are about to go down there. But yeah, so I'll probably vlog a little bit later once we get to the bridges, but I just wanted to check in and let you guys know that I made it, so yeah. White face monkey. monkey. Right there, you see it? <laughs> I'm so tired. Yeah, These little hills are no joke. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to go across. So. Come on. I probably no, insert a little video from my phone of me walking across. Mm. Okay, we're on our. Is this the fourth bridge? I think it's the fourth. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Woo! Fourth bridge. It's very wobbly. Let's see down. <laughs> Gosh, y'all know I love heights, but this is this is different. Skydiving is. I actually probably have some from keeping me on. Okay, so 
Okay, so right now we're in a little shop and I think I'm gonna get me a pastry. We have lunch in a little bit, but I'm super hungry and I need to eat something before I have a little situation. And so I think we get a little strudel. They have donuts, they have croissants. Yeah, this looks really, really good. They have a, ooh, a vanilla muffin. I just need something to hold me over until lunch because, yeah. It's only like 11 o'clock and we don't have lunch anything until 1, so. Okay, so we made it to our next stop and you guys can see the waterfall here. We'll be down there soon and we can swim down there. No, no, come on. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I gotta get the waterfall in. Um, but we're, it's like 500 something steps down there. You see, it's pretty far. So we're going down there and then we'll have to hike back up and then we'll have lunch here. And then we have like a hike at the volcano. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I might be back up with them for the hot springs. So. I've had enough of the volcano. I feel like, okay. Yeah. We're like, I'm good. I don't need Yeah, to we'll see. Down. But we saw a toucan bird, so that's that's nice. You shouldn't have a camera. It's the worst one. Uh oh, somebody left it. So yeah. Fire. Ooh. <laughs> My legs are on fire, but I think we are here, guys. Oh wow, we're right here. That wasn't bad. You know. We're here. So we'll see. So we're about to leave the waterfall. I vlogged a little bit earlier, but I don't think you guys can see me because like my phone case is really wet. So um, I took my phone out, but we're about to literally love it. Um, so yeah. the group they went on like a two-hour hike and I was not feeling that so I came up to a restaurant area I'm about to find my drone here but look at the view y'all like come on it's nice and cool up here I got a bathroom and I don't have to use energy so I'm gonna get a video of this on my drone and then just chill up here until they get here it might take a little bit of nap they have like a little pool over there I don't know if you guys can see it right there it's like a little pool area Ooh. So I had my bathing suit still on from earlier, so I might get in there. Um, but yeah, take some pictures and get some content, so yeah. I love it, by the way, so I definitely recommend this group. I'll leave the Airbnb experience link in the description box, as well as all of the other excursions and Airbnbs and taxis and all that information will be down below. So bad news. Apparently, I can't find the drone here because... Um, they had like an accident or something the guy didn't know how to fly it and so he like gashed his head or something I don't know so he said I have to go down to the bottom of Like down there where we parked and fly it So I'm just waiting for the group before I go down there and fly it But there's still hope if not I can always fly it at the Airbnb because you can see this from the Airbnb It's obviously not as clear of a view and like as good of a view Especially because like there's no clouds today. It's not foggy, but um hopefully i have another chance to fly it this trip here i know i'll be able to fly it emmanuel antonio but i wanted to fly it here so we we shall see what is on my camera am i blurry okay so we made it to our last stop of the day which is the baldi resort you guys can't see me but here it is here it's really pretty really fancy looking nice so we're about to go in here to the hot springs and then have dinner and then We'll be done for the day. I'm so tired. I can't wait to shower. So, yes. It's so pretty here. So, we're going to the hottest one first, and then we have dinner at 6. What time is it? 5. What? It's 5.22. 5.22. And we're going to go make our way back down. We're here now. We're getting our drinks. Love this for us. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. Broad, broadens your horizons, give you a different perspective. You meet so many good people. Yeah. Y'all, look how peaceful. So back in the room, guys, look how cute. They cleaned up in here for me. Super nice of them. Let's see if they did anything bathroom. 
Oh, they just made the little thing of the towel. But I'm about to take the best shower of my life, y'all. I'm so sticky and disgusting. Y'all can see me in the mirror. Not mirror, window. But I'm super sticky and disgusting, so I'm about to um, shower, chill out, and talk to you guys later. Bye. Good morning, guys. It is Thursday, May 12th um it's early it's well it's not that early yesterday i was up a lot earlier but it's 902 right now i'm about to brush my teeth and get ready to go have breakfast because breakfast ends at 9 30 breakfast is included with this i don't know if i said that but breakfast ends at 9 30 so i need to just brush my teeth throw something quick on and run over there i want to come back here and get in my bathing suit and go to the pool but it's kind of chilly like it rained all night i'll insert a clip here because i took a video last night on my phone y'all it was crazy but yeah, it's 76 degrees. It's gonna rain around 12. Um, so I'm like, I wanna get some pictures. They have like a little outdoor shower at the pool. I get some pictures there. So hopefully, hopefully it doesn't come out too dark and cloudy. I mean, it's not, it's not dark outside. Like you guys can see it's bright out. The sun is not out, but it's not like gloomy, too gloomy. Um, but yeah, y'all look at this freaking this is the worst thing about having I love this shower y'all like I love it water pressure is nice it's really amazing what is this what what do y'all see that hold on and this is not even the first one like oh bitchy, bitchy, bitchy. oh and there's you see all these moths and all these things from the rain like last night when I took my shower I literally had to clean out the shower before I could even use it because there were so many bugs and leaves and stuff um so just if you guys ever book this Airbnb just beware and know that you will have bugs like you will have bugs in your room like not a lot like they're not all over the floor but there's one there that I killed one there <laughs> um and definitely in your shower your bathroom so just beware if you don't like bugs do not book i don't like bugs but if you can't stand bugs don't book this airbnb but if you're okay with just like killing them and knowing that they're there then you're fine but I'm about to brush my teeth really quickly got on my skins wore that last night comfy i'm super sore from yesterday like really sore um but yeah don't mind the crust i look crazy so yeah i'll see you guys at breakfast y'all see this right y'all see my camera fogging up as we speak don't come out here with no weave don't come out here with no weave don't come out here with no wig don't come out here with no bundles because that will get messed up unless it's curly it's gonna be messed up y'all look what the hell i'm so sorry i forgot to vlog while i was eating but i just got the monte cristo sandwich which is like um bread eggs and then ham and cheese it was really good and then it has like this berry blackberry compost that comes with it that you can dip the sandwich in so it gives it kind of like a sweet touch really really good and i just had some fruit pineapples on the side and some juice so now i am about to go back to my room get changed and then i want to come over here and take some pictures right here like where this little outdoor shower is cut the water on get some good flicks you know nice little background so that'll be cute but i'm about to go now because it's starting to drizzle and i don't want it to start raining and then i can't get any pictures i'm all dressed ready for the pool um got my towel there ready to go it's still like rainy foggy out so hopefully i get some good pictures but you know if not i'm just gonna relax myself i'm gonna get the massage later after the chocolate tour i decided to go later well we decided to go me and the girl sarah decided to go later so yeah i'm super sore so hopefully that helps but yeah. okay later in the day quick outfit check it's raining as you guys can hear and i'm still wearing this outfit because i don't care i'm gonna bring my hoodie though but i just have on this little top it goes with a skirt and then jeans and some sandals i brought some sneakers with me because i don't want my feet to be soggy i'm also bringing my hoodie but i just wanted to wear this for now why am i holding this just, just want to wear this for now my taxi is here so i'm gonna go out there um to meet him and yeah see you guys later all right guys so i'm out the house i ended up putting my hoodie on i'm here with sarah again <laughs> And we're waiting on our taxi to go to the chocolate tours. We're in actually her hostel, which is Selena's hostel. I might check that out next time I travel. Cause it's really cool in here. They have like a nice little reception lobby and they have the pool and all that um, area, but it's really nice. So I'm waiting, like I said, for the taxi and then we can go to our chocolate tour, which is like a 12 minute drive. So we have more than enough time. I made it to, we made it to the chocolate tours. We're here now, we're just waiting for our tour to start. Look how cute this little place is. 
I'll have this in the description as well, but they have like the fresh cacao pods and we're gonna be making some from scratch. It's gonna be real fresh and nice. <laughs> um, you see the pictures up there. And it, the rain pretty much slowed down, which is good, but it's like under this thing, so we don't have to worry about getting wet or anything. But I have ice cream here, which we might get some after. A couple other things for food and coffee, but look at this, how cute is this? Like. You, how does chocolate come from this into what we see today? That's crazy. And then we're gonna get to the best part. We're gonna try a lot of chocolate. That's gonna be 70%. We put different spices on it. We make chocolate bonbons. And at the end, we're gonna do the drink of the guts. Okay. Just like instructions from we start. It's like if you're having, well, I don't think you need it because there are some mosquitoes around. Yeah. Just in case you're having box spray. Like, oh, I didn't put any on. Do you have some? No. We I don't forgot have some. Either, but I think okay. you're mostly covered, so it's okay. <laughs> I would <that>. Yeah. <laughs> and okay. then I used it on the with the project in 2014, just like four years ago, they opened. They're really new. Okay. They're having this farm for doing the tours, for growing some cacao. There is also a factory and a shop that they have in town in chocolate. <laughs> wow. And uh, there are like seven different types. And the first one is like this one. They're from Clio. Clio they Clio come from Mexico. Okay. This is the best quality for doing okay, yeah, yeah, They mm -hmm. find it. It's a small but We find this guy. This must look like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's like that. <laughs> Yeah, I can't imagine trying to go on every tree. Yeah, find it's impossible. Because yeah. uh, here what happens is that when they have the, these white dots, the insects just walked around and spread everywhere. Mm. Most mm. Of so the So this fruits, one's going to get ruined too. Uh -huh, oh. Probably. I think it's starting to get there. Most of the fruits in the same tree can be attacked with them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So this fruit is not sweet? The inside? Yeah. Oh no, it is sweet. Yeah. Oh, okay. Elevated. I thought you had to add sugar and stuff. But you still add sugar, right? To the chocolate? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's bitter. Like when I tried the um, yeah, seeds, it's, yeah. it's, it's like a dark chocolate taste, yeah. and then they ground it. Sound for you? Like a monkey song. Like, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ah, ah, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to do that? You go first. I'll go first. <laughs> okay. Can you? Yes. Mm. <laughs> okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. Un, dos, tres. Ooh, ah, ah, 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 Interesting. It is like delicious or mango. I would say it's like sense. fruit. Yes, fruity. They, they have something in Puerto Rico. They told me they call kenapa, but I think it's the same. It is. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Sweet. Mmm. These are roasted beans. Roasted beans. I think this is what you tried that you didn't. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> The only way they got that. Oh my god, this it's is good. amazing. Yeah. Can't crack it. Can't crack it. Uh, <laughs> in here? Yeah, in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I crushed it. <laughs> it's crunchy. Alright, we're ready with the chocolate. <clears throat> mm. It's bitter. <laughs> <laughs> Dark chocolate, and I actually like this. Okay. So you pull like dark chocolate. I didn't like dark chocolate, so it's too. I like chocolate. With sea salt, so that one is good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. First, like you're coming like this, like you're doing chocolate. You like it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like seal healthy chocolate. Now we're gonna combine these with. Cinnamon, 
The cinnamon smells good. <laughs> and, and then you take like this, I suppose, and you sprinkle. What is this? Salt. Himalayan salt. Mm -hmm. Maybe from this angle. Yeah. And this is what? Which one? Salt. Is this salt too? That's coconut. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love it with pepper and cinnamon if you want to try that. Then let me move this here. And let's go mm. slip. Mm. Mm. The salt. Mas? Cinnamon and black pepper. So we are here at the Eden Chocolate Tour and we are trying a combination of chocolate with condiments. <laughs> we have Sara Hola. and Sarah. <laughs> awesome. So we're going to try the cinnamon, pepper and sea salt combo because that's been our favorite so far. Yeah, so thank good. you. All right. All right. Cinnamon. It's very nice. Maybe a bit too much cinnamon. <laughs> salt. And then there we go. All right. All right. Cheers. <laughs> oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's really good. That's mm -hmm. really good. Yeah, <laughs> organic chocolate. That is really good. Wow. Mm -hmm. Those three cinnamon and a, uh, pepper and, so and salt. Uh -huh. So we are making chocolate bonbons. We have our same spices from earlier. Chocolate, I made one with chocolate peanuts and then chocolate on top, so kind of like in the middle. My next one, I'm gonna make chocolate, Oreos in the middle, and then sprinkles on top. I think that'll be good. I also have one with the salt, which I really, really liked, so, yeah. The monkey or rat mentioned both. That was having so much fun on the fruit. They tried that and they liked it. At the very beginning, they did fermentation, but they didn't know what they were doing. They got into a, an alcoholic drink. <laughs> so later, when they spent like more time on that, on the fermentation, they got into a different color. Probably was something like this, but inside was chocolate and also alcohol and acidity. So they were like taking those. Ah, ooh la la, ooh la la, 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 la,
Okay, so we had the best massage. I didn't vlog in there because we're relaxing. But now we're at Vagabondo Pizzeria, which is in La Fortuna. Super cute in here. It's kind of like outdoors, but indoors. So we can get some food. Um, and I'm thinking about extending my stay until Wednesday. You <laughs> should, you should. I want to go to Panama. So I might on Sunday leave San Jose and fly to Panama and then go home on Wednesday. I'm still deciding. I'm going to speak to my boss and see how she feels about that. Because um, I am on PTO, so I don't know. You know, I don't want to be disrespectful or anything. But yeah, we'll see. So I will chat with you guys later. Good morning. I'm here at the restaurant. Sorry. Good morning. I'm here at the restaurant now. My camera's gonna fall up in like 0.2 seconds. But I'm getting breakfast. I just got the typical um, Costa Rican breakfast, which is what I got the other day. I have my pineapples here and my juice and water. I'm about to drink this. But I'm not gonna vlog, obviously, because you guys are starting to not even see me now. But um, today I'm leaving here and going to San Jose. Spending a couple days in San Jose and I'm going to Manuel, Manuel Antonio tomorrow um, to the beach and then I'll be going home. Well, I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna extend my stay. I might stay and go to Panama um, on Sunday, but I'm still trying to figure everything out with my flights, but it's fogging up, so let me go. I'll talk to you guys later. All right, y'all, so I am packing up now. Unfortunately, I can't even get this clip out. Unfortunately, I have to leave this beautiful Airbnb. Shout out to them. This is like the best, one of the best Airbnbs I've stayed in. Um, the one in Puerto Rico was really good too. But I'm packing my stuff up really quickly. Sorry, I'm on the phone with Corey, but I'm supposed to check out here in the next 10 minutes. So just packing up, gonna throw some clothes on and then um, get out of here to go to San Jose. Like I said, I'm thinking about extending my stay. I'm not sure, kind of, want to. But at the same time, like, oh, maybe I won't. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, I am just finishing up here and then my ride will be here at 12.55. It is currently, I don't even know what time it is, but it's like 12.20-ish. So yeah, I'm trying to get out of here so I can check out and be done. So I will see you guys in San Jose. Okay, so we are in the car. Well, not in the car. <laughs> on the way to San Jose. Um, hopefully I don't get copyrighted, but we're on the way to San Jose now. We're in, stopped at like this little store to get a bathroom break and people can get some snacks and stuff. So, excuse me. So, um, I'm kind of hungry, but I'm not going to buy anything because I have dinner at, at 4 o'clock and it's 2.30 now. So, yeah, the view is really pretty. I'll show you guys the view over here. Let me go this way. Actually, we go home. Get some footage. Yes. <laughs> Subscribe to his channel, Five Minute Raw. Five Men Raw. Uh -huh. I'll yeah, put yeah. it in the description box. <laughs> 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 um, here's the, the view of where we are right now. But, wow. Look at that. We're in the clothes. It's crazy. But, um, yeah, we're about to leave soon. So, I'll chat with you guys once we get to San Jose and see you later. second Airbnb let me give you guys a quick tour I need to go because I was supposed to do this dinner thing at 4 o'clock it is like 6 30 6 15 something like that so I need to head over there but here's the front door a lot different than other place front door and then here's the apartment it's so cute nice and small it's like a little studio um, living room area they have some cute decor in here as well and I'll have this linked in the description as well 
Here's the room and the closet. Let me show you guys the bathroom. Also, this huge TV, like, hello. <laughs> and then in here is just the bathroom and shower, look at that. And then, <laughs> and then, Show you guys the view because it's amazing nice kitchen nice appliances like i said a lot different than another place um and then here's the balcony and guys yo this is crazy this joint is huge like oh my gosh but i'm about to get an uber to go to the dinner restaurant so i'll talk to you guys later Hi, how are you? My name is Ernesto. Uh, well, welcome to Costa Rica first. And here we have an experience like sitting, well, seeing part of the city and also walking around, see different monuments, buildings, and all that. And now here we are in one place that is called Silvestri. It's one of the most famous restaurants in San Jose. And it's consistent on all contemporary food, very nice that you can try. And the house is 100 uh, years old, so it's a pretty interesting place to experience and walking around too. Thank you. Yeah. Representing the devil, the wish. Uh, different legends from the country and finally made it to the restaurant <laughs> two hours late but I'm here so. <laughs> it's okay no cheers everyone cheers, cheers. cheers. Oh. <laughs> oh did they miss oh <laughs> my goodness and what is this fruit called fish oh, this is really good. I guess I was gonna show you better. So you're from Fishbowl. the Netherlands, where are you from? India. Oh. India. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Here, sand, it will be wild. Like the chat that you had, well, well chili water is very common. Or like a couple people also. You know it's karate and it's like... So we left the dinner spot and we are kind of downtown San Jose going to this little three-story bar. The place I'm staying at is actually right there so I don't have to go far. But yeah, so we're going in here now to get some drinks. I left my camera in the car, but we stopped off at this really, really pretty place getting breakfast. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna eat and then go. Oh, my tour guide's over there, so I need to go. All right, guys, so I made it to Manuel Antonio National Park. I am currently walking to the beach right now on this little trail. Uh, it's a little sketchy, cause like, I don't see anyone. Well, there's people like right behind me right there. And there's some people that just went ahead, but um, yeah, there's supposed to be like monkeys and other things here. I'm just going to the beach. I'm not walking the whole park. I don't feel like doing that. Um, but yeah, I literally had to like sneak my drone in because they're against them here. I don't know why, but they are. So um, yeah, but anyway, I will see you guys later when I get down there. I'm gonna relax, um, probably get some food down there and then um, yeah, just chill. So I'll see you when I get down there. Got like 15 more minutes. <laughs> That's good. Okay, so we're on the trail. I say we, as in me, we're on the trail. And some people saw a monkey, so we're trying to. Oh, yeah. You see it? Don't. Es que se, se tapa con la, uh, con, con la vegetación. No yeah. <laughs> I'm here. I'm trying to find somewhere to find my drone so I don't get in trouble. I'm on the corner somewhere.
Okay, honestly, it's been a long day. I haven't really vlogged that much. I took some content on my phone, but I am in um, the town of Campos right now, getting ready to get something to eat and then head back to San Jose. I'm still trying to decide if I'm staying or not. I don't know. I want to get home early. That's why I'm leaving now. It's like 3, maybe 4 o'clock. The bus leaves at 5. So I want to get home early so I can plan everything out and change my plans and stuff in time. I don't know yet. Yeah, I'm still trying to decide. Like I said, I really want to stay, but it would be a lot for me to come down here. Y'all, it's so early. It's 3.35 right now. My flight leaves at 7. I decided to just go home because I felt like it was going to be too much to be, um, I felt like it was going to be too much to extend it. So my flight leaves at 7. I am packing up my things now. It's not really much to pack because everything is pretty much just going in the suitcase. I'll go home and wash it all. But um, yeah, so I'm going to pack up, go downstairs, call my cab, and then I'll um, be at the airport hopefully around like 4.30.